What's your favourite song on this new EP? None of them. Nah, <laughs> it's your call. I liked it the most in general because it was a good song for me to play. Yeah, it's pretty hard, eh? Because they all sound in pretty good territory. I could tell you the songs I didn't want to put on the EP that are on the EP. Uh, it's your call. Definitely didn't want to put that on. That's that shape. That's really good. Uh, there's another song. Whoops. Whoop these. Didn't want that on the EP, but yeah, it's turned out to be a bit of a ripper, those two songs. My favourite song, uh, for, I'll probably get there because it just has a really cool um, Jay-Z vibe. Well, my favourite song at the moment is It's Your Call. I, why do you like It's Your Call? Just because it's a big, you know, probably the biggest song we've done. And yeah, it's just, I just like the feel of it, the rap in it, the way it flows. That's my favourite part. Who would you say had the most input into this EP? Oh, definitely me. You know. Excuse me. Input, output? Oh, there's only one fellow I've put around there, Mr. the man himself, Tez. I don't know, you know, it's sort of an enjoyment effort. You know, Tony does a lot. Tony, he has an idea and just feeds off it really. Like. Um, overall, I have to go between Jeff and myself. And then Rick has a lot of oversights. Daniel's good. He um, does the over oversight, and then yeah, just fixes all that up. Well, I'm getting a phone call. Uh, sorry, what was it? My name's Daniel. I'm a producer from Brisbane. And the band contacted me to help them with their EP. Did you listen to their original album? Uh, yeah. Before you jumped yeah, into this? Yeah, I did. And yeah, they kind of wanted to get away from that. And put a bit more production, a bit more thought into rather than just go into a recording studio and just press record. So what has it been like working with the band Zilch? It's been good. They're pretty uh, motivated. They're pretty open to ideas, which is good. What was it like working with the producer? Pretty scary. He's, um, he's a hard ass. He, uh, he once um, took me about, about back and uh, whipped the shit out of me because I um, yeah, I had uh, two takes on this one part and I just I don't want to really talk about it. Of the songs that you've helped produce so far, which one would be your favourite? Uh, I'd say probably Whoopties, just because I like big drums and lots of vocals and chanting and stuff like that, so that's been the most fun, I think. How do you think people might react to this new EP? Mmm, mmm, mmm. I think at first they might be a little bit confused and go, what style is this? But I think that's the beauty of it. It's kind of just a bit of a mesh of all their different tastes. It's not really trying to be anything, it's just them. If you could use just a few words to describe the album or the new EP, what words would you use? Colourful, very colourful. From knowing the boys in this uh, short brief time, who do you think would eat the last pizza pizza? Probably that Kiwi fella. Rick. Yeah. Definitely Rick. Definitely. Oh, Rick for sure, bro. Have you seen him? <laughs> that have to be me. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. And I love the food. Everyone's saying Rick, but um, I'd have to say Brock. Just because he's too dumb to ask. I am Brock. The drama. <laughs> if you weren't in Zilch, what would your pastime be? Probably trying to Get into zilch. Masturbating. Fishing. I'd have a lot more exciting things on my full drive. That's all I'd be doing is fishing every weekend. Fishing and camping. Yeah, masturbation. Just trying to be like singer in zilch, you know? At home practicing. Just hoping that one day they'd give me a ring. Do you want to say something to the camera just to finish up? Um, check out our new EP. Thanks for listening. 
That's a wrap. That's it. We're all up. This is Rick Zilch signing out. All right, this is Tony from Zilch. I really want you to uh, get behind this album because we put a lot into this and we're excited to get it out to you and have fun because we had a lot of fun making it. Thanks to everyone who jumped in and helped make it. Especially you, Luke Vitale. You burned this bridge, it's got so wide. You left me on the other side. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something else. Now. Cool, guys.